Indian constitution, the first article says, it begins with the line, India that is Bharat is a union of states. It does not say, we have to call our country I dot N dot D dot I dot A. India that is Bharat, that is always Bharat, that has been Bharat. So, today I want to talk about why we the citizens of this land prefer to call ourselves Indians. Whenever we introduce ourselves to outsiders, we go to some other country, our primary identity has become Indian. India, we say we are from India. I want to talk about that. You may ask, what is the difference? What's there in our name? Because we are so used to accept, endorse everything that comes from the West. Similarly, even this notion of India is not a name chosen by our ancestors, our heritage, our history. It is a name given to this land by outsiders, by conquerors who wanted to enslave us, who wanted to plunder this country, who wanted to make sure the identity of the land, of the people will be completely forgotten. And we have accepted that. That is why the question, what is the difference between calling ourselves India or Bharat is important. If I ask you, are you okay with the name which is given by somebody else, some outsider, some stranger who knows nothing about you, who knows nothing about your beliefs, who knows nothing about your rituals, nothing about your heritage. It's just a name he feels like giving it to you and you will accept it. Will you accept that? Most of us won't. We would proudly proclaim that this is a name which is given by our parents, our ancestors. It has a meaning. It has culture. It is our primary identity. If that is the case with us as individuals, then why we are not calling ourselves often as Bharatiya or Bharat? Because India is a name which is popularized by British because they thought, they assumed that people who lived on the river Sindhu, they couldn't pronounce the Greeks, whoever looted, whoever conquered, whoever tried to come to this country, couldn't pronounce the name Sindhu. So they started calling it as Hindu. So whoever stayed on the banks of the river Sindhu became Hindu, became Indus. It is their lack of pronunciation, it is their lack of understanding which made this country India. So, it is a name given to us by someone else. This is not a name, it is not denoting any history, it is not conveying anything else other than that we are a civilization lived on the banks of a river. Sindh. Now let me tell you, in Rig Veda, even you know western historians agree the period of Rig Veda is roughly 1500-2000 years ago before the birth of Christ. So as of today, Rig Veda even according to the western historians western calendar, it is around 3500 years old. In such a old text, there is a description of a war, a war between 10 kings and a King Sudhasa. King Sudhasa ruled over the area. It was a very fertile, very prosperous, very beautiful, very rich area on the banks of river Ravi, today's Ravi which comes near the Punjab. Here King Sudhasa fought with 10 other kings and won. Sudhasa was helped by none other than one of the great Maharishis, Saptarshis that we believe in of this land, Guru Vashistha and he won that war. Sudhasa belonged to the clan of Bharata. The Bharata clan's 
King Sudasa won this war and his clan started ruling over the entire northern part of the subcontinent. Hence, we became Bharat. So, this name, the ancient most reference is 3500 years ago text. Then, we do have another Bharata in Adipurana. Jains believe King Rishabhadeva, his son Bharata, who is the last Tirthankara according to the Jain belief system. He was a very able king. He was very capable. He was a very righteous, very pious king. And because of him, the land became Bharat. Another one very popular and equally old text as of Rigveda is the shloka from Vishnu Purana. Vishnu Purana is roughly around 1000 years older before Christ. In the Vishnu Purana, it is said, Uttaram yat samudrasya himadreshchaiva dakshinam varsham tad bharata nama bharati yatra santatihi. It means from the northernmost snowy mountains to the seas of the south. The vast land is called Bharat and people who dwell on this land, who are the occupants of this land are called Bharatiyas. It's a, today, in today's time, it is a 2500 year old text which called us Bharata and Bharatiya. Such is the history. It is so ancient. And the third very popular reference which most of us know that we became Bharata because of the king Bharata who was none other than the son of Shakuntala and Dushyanta. Bharata ruled over the entire North India and beyond the mountains and because of the kind of king he was, because of the administration he gave, the land became Bharata. So, this is the history, the culture, the heritage which is so ancient, so old which we are carrying till today. And when they gave this name Bharata to this land, entire Europe was not even born. In our schools, we learned that British unified India, we became a country after the invasion of British. Can anything will be foolish than that? Because it's a country which had a name, which had an identity for 3500 years. We didn't become a country after 1947. It became a union of states after 1947, but it was always a country, Rashtra, from time immemorial and it was called Bharat. Let me tell you one more thing. Today, in the entire world, even in the historical times, no other country citizens prayed for the well-being of the country. We are the only country we are the only system where we included the country, the Rashtra, into our prayers. In every prayer, we say, Rashtram Dharayata Dhruvam. So, O God of rain, God of prosperity, O God of fire, God of everything good, please bless my Rashtra. Rashtra is not just a physical geographical entity. Rashtra for Bharata and Bharatiyas has always been the Janapada, the people who are dwelling on this land. So, this is the only country even today when we offer a prayer to God, when we go to temples or if we perform some homa, something. Always we include, we tell our, we proclaim our identity as Jambu Dvipe Bharata Kande. Our identity goes back to the land where we are living and we include that. So, this identity which is so immersed in our everyday prayer is forgotten. Rather, we somehow we hesitate to proclaim that we are Bharatiyas. We have forgotten that pride 
in saying that we carry a heritage, a history of accomplishments, of knowledge, of well-being, which is thousands of years old. So, next time, when someone asks you, where are you from or who are you? The answer should be, we are from Bharat and I am a Bharatiya. Nothing wrong in saying in India, but our primary identity which is given by our ancestors, which is even today where you can refer and test the text is Bharat and Bharatiya. Namaskar.